Hi there, it's Phil here. You might know that I use the Apple dictation feature quite a lot in my business and normal personal use of the Mac. It's one of the most productive features that the Mac has. But lately I've discovered that um, sometimes it just doesn't work uh, in the sense that it still comes up with the um, the icon for you to start talking and though you speak, nothing actually happens. So uh, this is the sort of thing that you'd normally expect to see. Now my uh, trigger is pressing the function button twice. So I'm just gonna do that now. And whatever I say now will be typed into the dialog box. And if I stop, You can see that there's a little blue icon that comes up with the uh, microphone in it. Just there. Um, but sometimes that just simply doesn't seem to work. Um, the great thing about the new dictation feature is that you can add your own text if you want to at any point. So if I just stop now, full stop, and then continue to type anywhere I need to. And I can put the insert in anywhere as well. Anyway, the point here is that I want to give you a quick fix for if you found that the dictation has stopped working. And it's uh, a shortcut um, into a terminal command. So let's jump over to the terminal window and I'll show you what it is that you need to create to fix this. So I am now in the shortcuts menu. So there is a application called shortcuts on your Mac and you need to launch that first. And what you'll see on the screen here is I've actually got one called the dictation clear bug, which is so is where I've done it before already. So if I click on this and just uh, go to edit, you'll see that we've got this uh, run shell, shell script with this text in it, kill all, and then core speech D. I'm just going to copy that, but you'll need to write that down. So make sure that you've got that for yourselves. I'll put it in the description of the video as well, so you can copy it from there. How do we actually use this or create one for you to use? So, okay, so what we would do in the shortcuts window, if you're looking at the gallery, you won't see the plus sign, but go down to your shortcuts where it says all shortcuts and you'll see this plus sign here. So click on that and it says new shortcut. And then what you'll do then in the right hand menu, you'll go to apps and you'll scroll along to find terminal. And double click where it says run shell script. It might start with something that says echo, hello world, whatever. We're now going to paste in the terminology that I previously showed you. So this is kill all core speech D and get it exactly the same case. And there is a space between uh, the kill all and core speech, but there's not a space between kill and all. You'll notice that. Please make sure you're getting that dead right. You don't need to change any of these things. And then what you'll do is you will be able to save that file. Here we're going to click on where it says run shelves, shell scripts, and you can type in your own name for the shortcut. So let's call it fix dictation. If I can type properly, it would work. Dictation. And then you can actually, if you want to, you can right click on here or just click on it and put a new icon in there if you want to. And you get a, a variety of different icons, you know, that kind of thing. And you can change the colors of your shortcut. Click on that. And that is there for you. So now you should be able to um, close this down. And you see that I've got this thing that says fix dictation. So now to run it, all I would do is look in the future is go to the shortcuts menu and click on this little play icon. So if I play it, 
it actually would run that shell script and you should find that your dictation um, stickiness has disappeared. So I've kept it as a shortcut because I've had this a couple of times happen to me and uh, I found it very useful. So anyway, use that and that may well help with your dictation stickiness if it's not working for you. Thanks for watching and I look forward to helping you again in the near future. If you want to know more about Mac dictation, have a look at the video that I link in the, uh, the end of this video on YouTube. So I'll put a link in there for you. Bye for now.